Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution Return to Jurassic World. Yes, I know. I thought we were done this series. Well, we're returning to the real Jurassic World itself. Because as you can see, we have a nice lovely main street here. And well, as you can see, it's also Mount Saibo, so... Uh, I, I better not have a volcano eruption, please. And we are going to tour the Jurassic World I made. Now, as you can see, there's Mount Saibo right there. This means we're on the regular Isla Nublar. I did make a version of Jurassic World on Nublar 1993. However, I decided to do this one because this was my first um, creation of it. And maybe in the future we'll um, do a tour of um, the other one. And maybe we'll even do a Jurassic World breakout sort of thing. Who knows? But, with that out of the way, we'll start at the very end. So, we start off um, at the hotels, getting that famous, iconic shot from Jurassic World, the film. And we are going to head to the right. And of course, we have our Mosasaurus Lagoon literally right in front of us. So, please be careful. Um, and if we head, also, as usual, as I'll say, make your reservations, because, trust me, there's like a billion copies on this island, and they tend to eat people sometimes. Just ask Dieter. Wait a minute. No, you can't. He's dead. And if you go behind this hotel, you'll be able to see our paleobotany area, as well as a, um, little guest hub for, like, people around here. But... If we keep going this way, you you are going to see the Packy Battle Arena itself with, of course, Packy Cephalosaurus. But oh, geez, watch out for the Paleo feeders. If we go past these um Roland Tembos or the Friar Tucks, we have the Stiggy Morlocks, which are the younger relatives although some if you're fans of jack horner the real life paleontologist you'll say actually it's a younger version of a packy well we don't have full confirmation of that so it's a different species but we'll leave these two guys to combat there's no combat guys so it's fine and if we head this way we will head on to Main Street soon, and you get a glimpse on my right, but we'll skip that and head over to a restricted um, enclosure, because this one hasn't been open to the park, so hold on Main Street, we'll get to you soon. Da, 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 da. Hold on, hold on. And obviously you can see there's not many people here, because, well, it's not as popular. And... And you can see it, that is right. We have the Allosaurus. As one of, the, if you didn't know, there was a lot of dinosaurs that were on Nublar, such as the Allosaurus, Carnotaurus, and Stiggy Moloch as well. Those ones, while on the island, were not officially open to the public during the events of Jurassic World. And even on official websites, in the real world here with us, they weren't. So, people can get glimpses of them right now, but realistically, they would be in a restricted zone. But since this island isn't big enough, I didn't make a restricted zone. Well, except for, like, the Raptor Squad and the da -da 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 Indominus Rex. Now, if you see here, we have a restricted our security area, which we kind of see in Jurassic World when the Pterodons sort of break out, though we don't really have much buildings. I don't think there's any in that area when we see the film, but you know, for right now. Now, we'll head back onto Main Street. Uh, excuse me. And there we go. We are on the main strip or street sorry that doesn't sound right where we get 
all the restaurants, all the shops, and all the jazz. And we are going to head to the right again. We'll take a look at the T-Rex enclosure um, after this, but we have our petting zoo, which houses things such as the Struthiomimus, and I believe there might be some Gallimimus in here as well. Yep, there's one, I think. Is that a Gallimimus? Yes, it is. Gallimimus and Struthiomimus. Now, it's mainly Struthiomimus because Gallimimus also is um, in another enclosure, but, you know, it works. And in the second one, we have some Ceratopsians, such as the Sinoceratops and the Triceratops, and also some Carithos, which I'm not sure if they're canon, like, if they were on Isla Nublar during the events of Jurassic World, it's it's real confusing, guys. Because, like, there's some things that says they were, some things that says they weren't. But, you know what? It said that was Ceratosaurus. And if we look at Camp Cretaceous Season 2, there were Cerratos. So, we'll live. And is that all that's in this one? Yes, it is. Excuse me, Miss Horn-Faced. Oh, we gotta go up. And I think that... Might be all of them? Yes. Oh, wait, no. We've got one more right over here with some Ankylosaurids, including Ankylosaurus, of course, and some Euoplocephalus, because I'm pretty sure when I made, first made this, like, version, I um, just got the Claire Sanctuary DLC, so... I think it was in October. It was in October of 2019. Good lord, a long time ago. And speaking of which, guys, I made. You know how I did um Return to Jurassic Park? Like I played that campaign during the one year anniversary for it. Well, I'm thinking of doing that with um Claire Sanctuary as well. I'm not gonna do it for Secrets of Doctor Wu because I don't have that DLC yet. I say yet, but I need to be allowed to get it first. But I, I'm thinking I might do Claire Sanctuary as well. Leave in the comments if you're okay with that or if you don't want me to. But anyway, we'll head this way. And as you can see, we have another body of water, which is our water park. Now, the reason why there's some shops here besides that, because there's a hotel they need to have stuff, is because I am pretending that these... um are like guest facilities so like you know at beaches there's those little mini shops since this isn't Jurassic Park era we have to make do with what buildings we have so I put in a bowling alley which I have seen at beaches before a fast food and a gift shop now the viewing tower can be used to well view these dinosaurs but I also had it as sort of like a jungle park so like both these could be like parts of the jungle park area if you've seen those in indoor things. And also the hotel could be used for that too. God, I wish they had more of that stuff. But now we are going to, before we take a look in the big enclosures over there, we're going to head on the back of this. We're going to go around you here. And then we are going to head upstairs to da 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 dun dun dun. Where is she? Ah, there she is, the t Rexy herself, the Jurassic World's Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom itself. Oh yeah, there are no red witches. Ah, very nice. And with a lot of goats, because I don't have combat turned off. Which is a weird thing. Why is it they're not allowed to eat goats even if combat's turned off? They're not fighting the goats. They're just eating them. Oh well. Um, but, well, there's not much to see here. Some jungle, some little 
sand and stuff and some viewing vents. And if we head over here, we are going to first take a look on the right one with all these towers, which is the, um, represents the Cretaceous Cruise, which was an enclosure that we got a little glimpse of in Jurassic World. It was where those canoes were with the apatos and all that stuff. Now this one houses a lot more than we see. Now, in the film, we saw that there was a Patasaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Stegosaurus in here. However, there were actually a lot more things in there, including some carnivores like Metricanthosaurus, Baryonyx, and I believe, Su yeah, Suchomimus as well, which, um, oh god, speaking of Baryonyx, here's one, giving me a heart attack again, but also, I hate to break it, but if you're, um, canoeing in a river with something like, um, this, and, um, there's a lot of gyrospheres in the water, if, if you're swimming with those, I wouldn't feel safe. Not in the slightest. Now, we also have some Brachiosaurus on here, because, like, I couldn't put them in the other enclosure. There was no way it was going to be way too packed in there. And you know what? It's fine in here. And also, you can see two things trying to skimmer away. Those Metriacanthosauruses. One biting the butt of the other, which, uh, uh, maybe kinky or something. Let's just leave them to it. As you can see, we have a whole lot of paras here. Panicking, I believe, because I'm pretty sure another carnivore is in here somewhere. Yep, it is right there, the Carnotaurus themselves, because, again, I didn't have space for a restricted zone, so I couldn't, like, make, um, any of, I couldn't put these guys out there, which, oh, and Dilophosaurus, I heard that, uh, where are you? Oh, is that one? Nope. Like... Like the Dolph source in um, all the f films besides Jurassic um, Park, we are not able to see it. Better be in Dominion, I swear to us. Uh, oh, is that another? Ah, there's one. Oh, there's two. There you go. There's your Dilophosaurus. I'm giving some heart attacks to some paras. God, I really want to see them so bad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my God! They're gonna kill me, God. guys! I don't know if I can survive this. I'm getting jump scared constantly by these things. Got jump scared by a berry, a dilo, and now a para. What's next? A carnal's gonna just come roaring? I swear to God, please don't do it. Is there any behind me? Nope, just a bear, just a baryonyx. But we're gonna leave these guys to um, settle down, settle down. And as you can see, there is the aviary, which I think is in the public area, I'm not sure. But we're going to head over to the neighboring, um, oh god, this lighting is just weird. Well, I have it set to ch changing daytime. We have the Gyrosphere Valley, which, uh, kind of has a traffic jam right there. Because, um, the Stegos here are having a council session, you know, planning out their escapes, you know, usual stuff. They're planning on get, making their paddles run through a fence. Um, we also have some Triceratops and some Gallimimus and a Pados, which for the Triceratops, because as we know in Jurassic World, they were kind of a bluish gray color for some reason. So, I decided to use the alpine skin, which was the most closest looking one. And, um, for galleys, I think they're basic, and maybe some of them might be jungle, I can't remember. Now, for the stegos, I did wetland skin, because, strangely enough, the wetland skin is actu actually matches the, um, 
ones in both Fallen Kingdom and the first Jurassic World, which I don't know why they made them look more paler with the basic skin. Who knows? See, even the Sega agrees with me. Now we got some watering holes because, well, we need to. Uh, and we got another way bigger one here. Now, I'm pretty sure I built a... Oh yeah, over here in this area was, is supposed to represent the Gallimimus Valley that we see um, with the tour truck as you can see here. But mainly it's turned into the Para Valley because they're the ones going there. And uh, one of the Paras just phased through the truck and is swiping the other. Very nice. Now, did I not make a hill here to sort of get that shot? Apparent. Oh wait, no, that was in the other um, version that I made. So, oh god, I got the hiccups. Now, as we saw back there, there is a little guest hub, but that's because I need to make them there, and it's. I didn't. I did that for like all the little areas. So like, if there's a gyrosphere or something, they all have that. It's a little annoying, but what can you do? Now. We, of course, have the aviary, which has the, um, step, um, skins for the, um, to represent the Jurassic World ones, which, again, I don't understand why they didn't make, like, that as the main model. I know that these were introduced in the Return to Jurassic Park DLC, but they could have easily just, like, taken out the teeth, shortened the, um, back horn of it and stuff. Not too hard to do. Oh well, we'll have to work with what we have and wait for Evolution 2. And also we have the main arrival point, of course, with another guest hub and a monorail going all the way around there because, well, let's just be real. There's no way I'm making a path from here to there. Even though there is a gap I can see. Yeah, that's for the um, security team. Now, speaking of which, we're going to head into the restricted zone next, which, if we go, once we're past here, guys, we're in the restricted zone. So, please, camera's off, no showing to this to the public, because, uh, I don't want to get fired, even though I own this. Yeah, blah, 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 never mind. Oh, what's this? Is this? Oh, wait, no, this little thing is... The mini restricted zone, which I have ankylosaurus and compies in here. The reason why is because, well, I had this little space and had no idea what to do with it. And if we head over uh, here, yes, it's here, we'll head up to the oh god, trees are blocking my path. We'll head up to the raptor enclosure, which we head down there's three of them where's the other one please don't give me a heart attack please don't i can't do it right now guys um oh is that the other one nope still three and we have blue charlie and delta i know that's delta because there's where's echo oh my god that reminds me just of jurassic world because when owen's like telling them to stand down and save the other guy it's these three raptors that are we see in camera until we get the doors closing and we see that echo was coming from behind oh my oh there's echo she was coming from behind oh my god i love that little thing but we're gonna leave these raptors and um feed them a pig later uh, uh trees jesus and, um, viewing tower, of course, because, well, hey, no, ju no jumping around and quick clapping. We don't, tr oh, jeez, and no teleporting either. We're trying to keep them calm and keep them from breaking out, like, five a five millionth time. And, of course, Jurassic World would not be complete without, oh, gosh, oh, God, Jesus, walls. With, oh, 
a Indominus Rex world. Which, if we head in, well, actually, you may have got a glimpse of him, but here's the view from the camera. Well, oh, there he is. There, oh my god, that is awesome. You know, I love doing this with enclosures, because even though it doesn't seem right, you want to be able to see them. I'm a person who believes that you need to be forced to look around, look at every detail for one. That's the true Jurassic Park slash world experience for me. And it's way better than it just being like, all these trees gone, boom, naked, enclosure, ready for him to see. And he's taking a nap from what it seems. And just so you guys don't complain, I want to see the Indominus clear. Fine, we'll go right bother him. Maybe he'll break out or something. There. See? He's sleeping. It's turning daytime. He's, he stayed up all night. He probably was um, fooling around with someone or something. I don't want to know. And now he's going to be exhausted for the rest of the day. God damn it. We got guests paying to see you. Even though you're in the restricted section. We don't talk about that. But that is going to have to end the tour. And we're going to cut... Oh, God. Jeez, wall. Again, how many times am I going to hit walls or stuff? We're going to have to teleport to uh, aerial view. And we'll be right back for the outro. Uh, here. Wait, no, turn it a little, there we go, right there, and boom, there we go, guys. So, that is Jurassic World itself, a beauty as usual, and, um, what do you guys think of my recre- Oh, God, there's the monorail, I can see it just in the corner there. What do you think of this Jurassic World? Besides camp crit all the Camp Cretaceous stuff, because kind of I can't do that. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like my version of Jurassic World? Well, the one that I've made here. And if you don't, please don't say that in the comments, because that's not really nice. Um, but if there's something that you would recommend me changing, I'll let you know if I did that in the... Um, other version which I may show you in the future I don't know but with that we are going to end the tour here the end of our return to Jurassic World which sad to say but like children I guess we gotta let them go and let them do whatever they choose for their future I don't know I'm not a parent I'm not even old enough what was that was a terrible joke guys i'm sorry um but anyway guys after this series we're gonna be of course starting a new one which for jurassic world evolution the next series we'll be doing i believe is Me mesozoic metropolis which i did a little vote on my twitter a few weeks ago and um the vote was um Mesozoic Metropolis, so we're gonna go with that for um, the next series. We'll also be doing Lego Jurassic World and um, some speed builds, including an Avengers Park, a Star Wars Park, and one that I'm really excited for because I've not seen anyone do this, a Lord of the Rings Park. Not The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, because there's no way I can fit um, I'm even going to have to do a separate island just for Helm's Deep. Let's just be real. Because there's going to be a lot of or Urukai. But, for the future, guys, you will we'll have to wait. If you've enjoyed the current video you're watching, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already and you want to join the hunt, help support this channel a little bit more. Hit the subscribe button. Be safe. And until next time... I'll see you later. Bye-bye.